All right, hey, what is going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be going over if it is worth it to get into reloading in this 2020 pandemic. I'm gonna go over everything that I bought, the total cost that it gets into uh, to get into reloading, and then I'll give you my overall answer at the end of this video. So the first thing that we're gonna start off with is a good old press. This is a handheld press. I used to use this when I was in the back 3D printing, so I would be watching the first layer and decapping and priming and whatnot. Very great for starting off. However, doing like rifle, like especially two, two, three without a bolt tail at the bottom is a pain in the ass because you gotta like seat it perfectly, make sure and guide it all the way up. You get your finger caught in there. Uh, it, it's not really the business with this thing. So I'll have some B-roll footage of my actual uh, tabletop one. This thing costs around 60 bucks. And then I bought the bench shop one for a steal, like 40 bucks on offer up. So definitely be looking out for, for deals. Uh, again, it's going to be kind of hard to find stuff in this uh, 2020 pandemic. So the next thing after you get yourself a press, like I said, 60 bucks, 40 bucks for my bench top. Next thing that you're going to need is some good old dies for actual reloading. These are my 38 ones. The reason why I like Lee the best is because they actually come with the shell holder. Most other companies like RCBS and Lyman, I believe you need to actually buy the shell holder kind of a pain in the ass uh, it's cool that they give you the little scooper for the powder however i do not recommend using this i'll have some more b-roll of my powder thrower the powder thrower ran around 25 bucks it's for what it is it is you know good however i would recommend getting something a little bit um on the higher end again saving time it is a little bit finicky uh the powder throw will go off every like four to five so you're always got to be checking it I personally weigh out every every single charge. I'm a little bit meticulous with that, which you want to be for reloading, especially. Since we were talking about powder, you're also going to want a powder trickler. Say you're at like 23.2 uh, grains and you need the charge to be up to like 23.4 or 23.3, whatever it is. Just trickle a little bit of powder in there. Again, saving time is saving money in the reloading world. So, you know, spend the extra money, get some nice things like this. Uh, only like 25 bucks or so for one of these bad boys. And when I first started off, I would, you know, just have all my, all my shells laid out. That's why you're going to get yourself a, a nice loading block. Put all your, all the charges in there that have all the powder in there. It's a lot easier instead of having them all laid out. Believe me, I knock some over and you got to reweigh out the powder. So now since we're still on the good old powder you're gonna to want to get yourself a nice scale don't get one of your little cheap twenty dollar scales this is a dylan exterminator uh i like it matches my dodgers uh dodger shirt comes with the weight to actually uh zero it in and whatnot it's a weird camera angle sorry i'll definitely do some b-roll of this as well 120 bucks. However, compared to like the $20 gram scale, you know who you guys are using those scales. Compared to those, this thing is night and day. A lot more accurate. I was definitely finding with the other one that I have to re-zero uh, a lot more. So now another thing, if you're going to get into casting bullets, you're going to want to get yourself some some lead. I bought some off of uh, a guy on OfferUp. And then as well as some more on the good old eBay website to bring out my mold as well as if you're going to be casting your own bullets as well. It's definitely, you know, worth it. I haven't done any yet, but I'm definitely going to be getting into it. This is for my 45, but I got some for every major caliber that I'm going to be reloading for. Get yourself some molds. Uh, I'll, I'll do a B-roll of the furnace I got. I got the one that you pull it up and you can actually uh, just go right ahead and go in instead of having to get it in with a spoon and then pouring it in again spend the extra money so you save some time now if you're going to be doing rifle brass you're going to definitely need a case prep center i have the lineman again it's covered in in a bunch of stuff back there so i don't have it out but i'll do some b-roll footage of it i would definitely recommend getting the frankfurt arsenal one especially if you're going to be doing rifle brass to trim it's a lot easier it has it built in so you just you know knock that in there the lineman can do it but it's a little bit a little bit more time consuming so like i said you want to save your time definitely get yourself the better one go with the frankfurt arsenal don't go with the one that i got all righty so powder this is good old CFE223. Uh, I almost ran out of Varget and couldn't find no more Varget. 
but this will work for 308, 223, and all the major calibers that I work with. I got a lot more. I'll probably do another B-roll footage for that bad boy. Get, you know, as much powder as you can because that's the number one thing that's going. There's almost no powder at the gun store that I was typically going to. They they didn't get price gouged too much yet. And another thing about price gouging, let's go ahead and get into the reason or the main uh, component into if you should or should not get into reloading. Primers. I know a lot of you guys are having trouble finding this. And believe me, finding some large rifle primers was a pain in the ass. I would get primers for around two to three dollars per hundred. Is running ten to twelve dollars for primers for a hundred. For the amount that I got four four hundred for, I could have bought a thousand back in the day, guys. So I'll have the counter up there. I can't do the math of everything that I bought. Um, I'll I'll leave all the math up there because you know I'm a dummy. But just alone on those primers, it is is it isn't even worth it. Even though I see Tula nine millimeter steel going for like twenty nine bucks, I can't justify spending twelve dollars on a box of primers. Ten to twelve bucks on a box of primers is just asinine as fuck. With that, I would say it is not worth it to get into reloading unless you have everything already ready. Which for every other caliber but three hundred eight, I am ready to go. Uh, so if you have everything already, believe me, it is 100% worth it. You honestly don't save money with reloading. You actually just shoot more. So with that being said, I wouldn't recommend it. So there's my answer to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video if you did enjoy it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Leave a comment if you vibe with it or not. Or if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. Or if you want to talk with me live. Follow me on Twitch, guys. I'm live almost every night. I go live pretty much. Oh, shit. It's like 1040. I'll be going live around like 12 p.m. Yesterday, I stood up to like 630. If you want to play some Call of Duty with me, hop in the chat. Let me know what your uh, name is. I'll add you. You guys take care.